This year, we have seen a lot of art-inspired garments on the runway. Whether we talk about psychedelic patterns, abstract paints or the Japanese kabuki prints, fashion has always sought inspiration from the world of art. And art has always been a reference point in today's interior space be it the pop art style interiors or contemporary paintings to deck up the walls. And then there is the marriage of fashion and home decor. Colourful textiles like bandhini, ikat and kantha. All of which add that exotic touch to your curtains, your cushions and other home accessories. A couple of brands that stand out in this segment. Globally, there is Dawn Curry that incorporates a lot of fashion elements and in India, we have Rasil Gujral who uses a lot of floral motifs in her cushions and wallpaper. And today, we have seen yet another merger of fashion and decor with Kukun Fine Rugs' new collection, Baroque Garden. The uh, art of rug weaving came to India with the Mughals in the 15th century. Uh, so India is, is globally is, is the largest exporter of handmade carpets. Um, and uh, with, with individuals like Varun getting involved with uh, uh, such an ancient art form and uh, it, it's only going to revive a lot of interest uh, in, into this. I've never done something like this before, never made a range of carpets, but it's another way of venting your uh, creativity. Fashion has always been an inspiration when it comes to colours. And uh, for this particular collection, we said, why don't we look at fashion-related designs? Very opulent, very luxurious uh, fabrics. The new, uh, this Baro Garden collection, I think the name is quite self-explanatory. Uh, I work quite extensively with uh, um, the, the Baroque period and um, uh, motives. So, taking the whole Baroque Garden story, almost uh, to another level. We've used uh, a kind of wool which is, a, uh, which is over twisted and hand spun uh, so it's got a lot of luster, it's got a lot of texture and that has blend, been blended beautifully with hand spun silk. So the two textures complement each other beautifully and uh, an additional layer of shearing by hand, high and low, uh, adds a, a lot of drama to the rugs as well. A lot of floral um, uh, motifs coming inspired from nature. So I just brought them together and it came out uh, quite, uh, I thought it was, while I was doing it, it, it looked very interesting. Whether you see it uh, with modern uh, cutting edge abstracts or geometrics or transitional patterns, uh, that's a relatively new phenomenon. Putting colours together, putting motifs together is pretty much, pretty much the same but the process is very different. As homes get more and more modern, minimalist, inspired by Scandinavian designs or, or European designs, uh, I, I think there is going to be some sort of modern sensibilities that's going to filter into rugs as well. And that's been happening over the last 10 years or so. Uh, the important aspects uh, that you should typically consider when buying a rug uh, would be the detailing. Uh, so how many, uh, how many colors are being used to how intricate the design is. What are the materials being used? We're reaching out to the design audience, um, fashion lovers who want to uh, go ahead and buy a new line of rugs. They don't want to probably use what their parents have been using all this while. You know, there's going to be a, an amalgamation of the classic styles, uh, meeting more modern techniques or more modern colors. Uh, and I think that's, that's where the future is.